it's just another example of the degradation of society. Because why am I like this? Well, I was raised that, you know, you find a good woman and women were raised to find a good man. And what does that mean? Well, you know, it doesn't have to be a fucking super princess or a fucking perfect chick or a perfect dude. But it's like people that are like, you know, keep your business private and, you know, um, love and respect matters and self self-respect and... You know, what happens in your private life, do whatever you want, but it's not out there, number one. And number two, it's not to be monetized. Like, you're, we were taught, I, this is a, the thing is, what's crazy is, is that I'm pro, hmm, I can see the pushbacks I'm trying to do. I can say I'm pro women, but people that will push back will say, no, you're pro your idea of women. And I guess I'm pro the idea that I was raised or brainwashed that you find a good woman at the dance hop and she's a good girl and you take times and you have dates and then I'm not even like wait before marriage type of dude. It's like you go and eventually, you know, you see if something happens and then you move on um, and then you, you engage in sex and that's okay. And you maybe her friend comes and that's a different thing, but hey, and you have sex with two of them or whatever. I don't fucking know. That's like extra levels. But again, what I'm saying, I'm engaging in private. I'm not engaging of A, doing it and putting it out there, which is wild in itself, like, Remember how crazy sex tapes were? They had to be leaked. Now people are actively trafficking themselves for a paycheck. And it's okay for you, but I can't praise you for it. Unless each each situation is different. I'm not, this is not the whole swath of OnlyFans. I mean, God forbid. It's like, you know, all comedians are scumbags. No, but, you know, I'm in a scummy business. I get it. But I guess what I'm saying is I'm just really fucking twisted up about audiences reactions because they're scared they're scared to be like yeah because they want to be seen as progressive what is what what will stop your progressivism at what point does your moral code not judging anything like a guy that came to the show a show a couple shows ago he was a teacher and he told me he can't teach anymore he doesn't want to do it because his class of like 80 students, 50% of the girls, he says probably 50% have all said their desire to when they graduate and are 18, want to start an OnlyFans. 50%! And this is one school in Downey, California. Think about that. 50 fucking percent. That makes me cry. That makes me fucking cry. And the audience doesn't cry. They just sit there silent like fucking NPCs. 50 fucking percent. So imagine that number multiplied throughout this city, throughout the country, throughout the fucking world. I understand. I can't imagine people's backstories. There gotta be tons of it. And I'm saying your backstories are going to be taken in to consideration but the general audience at least half of them doesn't have a back bad bad backstory where they can't relate to it they're taking this topic of judging this as unrelatable and that proves detrimental for people like me because that means that my moral code is in decline and that makes me very fucking angry but underneath the anger it makes me sad because what is anger okay Anger is the top level of hurt. Hurt is down there, and I'm hurt. I'm hurt. You know, when I was like 12 years old, I'll never forget. 12 years fucking old. That's 1982, 83, maybe. Maybe I was 13. Seems like when I was a teenager, a lot changed. And we had a, the kid whose dad had the fucking mags and whatever. And, you know, this is, I want to share this with you so you understand. I was a young boy. I played baseball. I was a catcher. Um... I also played right field because I was a fucking spaz. I played basketball. Like, I had moments of... Most of the time, I was a fucking nutcase, but I had moments of insane brilliance. And people were like, you're such an athlete. But I didn't have the heart. Like, if, it is, if I had a heart, I would be an athlete because I could fucking outthink all of these people. So I could just run out of air. You know, I just didn't have the heart, but I love the com competition of sport. And I love the adulation. And that's why I had to get it somewhere else, whether that's a Gemini, narcissism, whatever. <sighs> and my friend's dad had like a magazine. And I think it was either Hustler or We, like OUI, one of those magazines that pushed it farther than the rest of them. And I'll never forget, I saw the image, I'm not going to go too deep into it, but of 
a blow job and it was pretty graphic and there was like some sauce how can i say this in a way it's not too much and it was just a picture and i was like i had never seen anything like it i didn't know anything like that i had never seen it and i even went through the street and i'll never forget this i threw up i threw up i threw up it was 1982 or 83 and i threw up and my friend laughed at me he said girl you fucking pussy and the other kid was high well let me tell you where they're at the one kid is in fucking in and out of fucking prison and the other kid's dead and there's me that's the trifecta. I threw the fuck up. Then I think my other friend, who to this day is my one of my best friends, saw it later. And he also told me he had a similar reaction. So I'm like, okay, there's some goodness here. But it fucked me forever. Like, that was the beginning of the end of my downfall of awareness. And, like, what is this world? It wasn't raised to me like that. I was on cartoons, chips, and it was John Ritter, and it was fun, and it was cheesesteaks, and it was Coca-Cola, and it was Frisbee, and it was, like, roller skating and seeing a cute girl and being like, oh, my God, let's go to the Pac-Man machine. And then I saw that. I saw that fucking image, and it fucked me up. I didn't want to see it because this kid came from a fucking busted ass home and I fucking piled around with him. He's not a bad kid. He's also a victim. Poor fucking guy. Poor fucking guy. He's dead. It's a whole other story. And the other kids in and out of prison. Also busted up homes, man. Fucking sad. They're victims too. What's my point? My point is that was an image 40 fucking years ago. And honest to God, it's a core memory, man. Like, I don't think about it much, but tonight it spurned it in my brain and I'm thinking about... Things that have shaped me or broken me. And that's one of them. And now I want you to think, why am I saying that? Because I can guarantee there's a lot younger fucking people seeing worse shit. And that's horrific. And now it's being normalized. And when I go to a comedy show and I push back on an age old idea that hoeing all this profession in the world. We all know that. Okay. That's okay. But I was raised that hoes knew they were hoes and they said i'm a ho i'm hoeing and they got mad respect because they were hoeing and they admitted it but now and they would say i know i shouldn't be doing this but I i'm desperate a lot of them you feel the plight and you know like there's a difference between that and you feel bad and like a stripper like i'll never forget i had this great conversation one time with this stripper and um oh god new orleans man beautiful beautiful chick probably 21 she literally told me she's in college she's a junior in connecticut and she's like i'm just doing it the money's too good and no one sees it this is pre-fucking a lot of phones and shit and she wasn't doing nothing bad she had a killer body knew what she was doing it was playful as fuck fun made everybody laugh knew how to fucking get your money and was sweet never saw her turn a trick I'm not saying she did or didn't i have no idea problem who knows i don't know she was mad cool she literally said i'm just doing this as a summer she did it for two summers and i talked to her after she quit and she's like yeah and me and she knew she was going in that world got in got out but she was she's like yeah i'm howling i'm trying not to fucking get busted doing it and i could relate and i was like okay i get it i get it i get it it's the it's the thing that you're hoeing and i'm supposed to res just give you your flowers again there's levels to it but if you're dark hoeing and you're not questioning it that's why i'm here because I'm not trying to perpetrate a dark decision. I'm trying to keep light in this world. And there's all types of fucking crazy shit. 